Oh, Elizabeth is sad about her new sibling. Oh no. Okay, so now, hello, Arthur, we're back. We should, oh, we should get out of the sunlight because our skin's burning. Let's go, go here, go inside. You're going to die before you're supposed to. All right. Hey rainbows and welcome back to another episode of the history of Windenburg. In today's episode we are going to be seeing Ravenna and what Henry thinks is his child but it's not it is Arthur's child. Um, we're seeing their child that's going to be born in this episode. In the last episode we did meet Arthur for the first time and Ravenna went over the plan with him on making him future king if he agreed to help Ravenna have some heirs. Someone did ask and I'm sorry if I didn't make this clear in the last episode but the thing is that Henry he was having trouble having kids he was blaming it on Ravenna but it is because of Henry and of course they did have their two girls um and Ravenna did kill one of the kids in the last episode because she was a vampire and Ravenna noticed that she was showing signs of being a vampire and in order to not risk being caught being caught that Ravenna herself is a vampire she did end up killing her daughter Raina but Ravenna and Vlad, they had realized that it is because of Henry that they were not able to conceive any more kids and Henry wanted sons and he was blaming the reason that they weren't having kids on Ravenna. So Ravenna and Vlad were just like, we need to figure something out. So then they tracked down Henry's brother, Arthur, and then Ravenna and Arthur, they had, they tried for a baby in the last episode and then she's pregnant. So now Ravenna is in her third trimester. So therefore time has passed. She looks very angry. She's tense because of the rat. I am so not used to the rats. I guess I didn't like explore that much or that part of it in what is it, city living that they're from. I did remember too that the girls, I remember Raina and Elizabeth or Elizabeth. I remember her being a good amount older than her siblings so basically the kids from Ravenna and Arthur but of course they think it's the kids from Ravenna and Henry and just to be clear too like no one else knows that they are descended from Arthur or like no one no one else knows that at all except for Arthur Ravenna and Vlad they're like the only ones that know so all of the descendants in our current royal family series like they all think they're descended from Henry um so we are waiting for Ravenna to go into labor and while we're doing that I do want to go over two of the comments I saw from the last episode oh wow Henry's actually playing with his child they don't have a good relationship with Elizabeth and they probably won't have a very high relationship with the other kids as well I talked about that a bit in the last episode why that just makes sense to me this comment is from hyper the piper zero one and it was because I talked about in the last episode I was wondering why I was like trying to figure out why Arthur would hate Henry so much so hyper said I'd like to introduce the idea of why Arthur and Henry don't like each other before the attack on the old village. Arthur is in charge of his own regiment of the army. Henry, the head of the force, demands an attack on the village for whatever reason. Arthur being a more democracy-like brother refuses all out attacking the village with his troops thus being berated and and like fired and yeah they said I don't know I don't know how that would work either um but not for following for not following a direct order from the then future king. And then they just said that it would make the sibling rivalry easier to understand since it was a fairly common occurrence in medieval times, they think. So I think that, I mean, that makes sense to me. The thing is too though, I mean like Hen, or not Henry, sorry, Arthur is, evil he has the evil trait then again maybe that could come from just like the festering hatred and jealousy from henry and like him being i guess like kind of banished like he lives in a very small place in windenburg so he's not living the high life like henry is and then also, you guys can let me know what you think. Like, I think it's a great idea, but I just want to make sure it makes sense with this. And this is some tea because if you guys didn't know, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but if you didn't know, Arthur is the one who kills Ravenna. So I just want to make sure that like the reasoning makes sense. Like if he refused to kill the people and like destroy the village before, like if it would make sense later for him to kill Ravenna. So those are just some other ideas I want to introduce to you guys. Again, this whole 
like let's play series is like a brainstorming thing. But I think it's a lot of fun. I like getting your guys' ideas too. A lot of people commented some other suggestions as well um, that will be more relevant later on in the series, but I definitely like seeing everyone's theories and suggestions and stuff too. I just have to make sure of course that it works with like the story just because it's it like it is a story that has already happened. Okay, so Ravenna is now in labor. So we are going to have her have the baby. Okay, she's having the baby now. Also, Elizabeth, so since there is a supposed to be a bit of an age gap between Elizabeth and the other kids, maybe we're, we're gonna do a thing where it's like, you know, a bunch of time has passed. So we're gonna do like a lot of time skips, but maybe after the child's born, she can turn into a kid. Cause I remember her being like an, a teenager maybe when the other kids were like toddlers. But okay, so they had a boy. So, or, I mean, we have the names already picked out because you know, this has happened before, but um, so this is Prince Henry and now he is the heir. So it is the future king and the future King Henry II of Windenburg. So Prince Henry, I'm just like having a weird flashbacks to like our Henry from like Henry, the, King Henry the fourth that we know from our Royal family series. So that's the one that I got more attached to because that's when I started my series. But anyway, <laughs> we have Prince Henry here and oh, Elizabeth is sad about her new sibling. Oh no. All right, so we have picked Henry's outfits, little Prince Henry. I have to make sure, I, oh, whoops. To make sure I differentiate so you guys don't get confused, but I have picked little Prince Henry's outfit. And then of course, this is not like completely accurate to the time that I imagine this takes place, which is like around Renaissance time. Also, if you were wondering, because now in my series, the royal family of Windenburg, they wear, or their kingdom colors are purple and pink. However, back then, like when Ravenna was reigning and everything, it was red. And then that was changed later on. I think when Henry, this Henry, when he becomes king. But yeah, their kingdom color used to be red. So that's why you'll see them wear a lot of red. But I kept him as a regular sized toddler because we are about to age up Princess Elizabeth. I know this is all going very fast, but one of the servants has made a cake in the, uh, yeah, in the grand hall here. Uh, oh, there it is. So we need to age up. Oh, um, oh, what is it? Help, help blow out candles. Okay. So Princess Elizabeth, so she's going to turn into a child and then I'll pick her outfits. And then Ravenna and Arthur are going to have more kids. Okay, she is blowing out the candles now. She's aging up into a, into a kid. Uh, age up, yes. Okay, and there we go. All right, Princess Elizabeth has aged up, so we're going to randomize this a loner. Okay, and then I always pick the same aspirations because there's only four. I need to get like more mods and custom content aspirations, but yay. Okay, so she's a child. I will, um, well, I will let them eat cake. Let's see, take a piece. All right, I'm going to pick her outfits again real quick and then I will show you her and we will be right back. Okay, so this is Princess Elizabeth. I kept the hair she had. I actually think it's perfect. And I'm so excited I could actually use this dress. I feel, she's sad right now, but um, I'm, I've had this dress forever and I've never been able to use it, but now I finally can. And then the other outfit I picked, I didn't pick out all outfits for her or for Prince Henry, but um, the other outfit I picked is the dress that comes with the vampire pack, which I'm also glad I could finally use too. Um, yeah, that one. So it's like the red and gold one. As far as like relationship with her siblings, when I first was doing this, I I feel like I remember Elizabeth being like a little bit protective and like maybe in the future she kind of realizes her mother's up to something and like feels the need to protect her siblings a bit. We'll get into that much later, but I like vaguely remember that. Um, although she's sad about having a sibling right now. Um, so I don't know, we can figure all of that out and maybe we'll just leave it up to the game and like see if they get along okay. Right now they have like barely any relationship. And let me see if he responds at all to some like stories or something, see if they do get along okay. Yeah, maybe I'll just kind of leave it up to the game. This isn't something we have to do like all today. Oh, chemistry advice. Oh, 
Uh, Elizabeth seems to have taken a liking to Henry being around each other seems to help their moods Okay, so maybe they do get along pretty well. So she'll probably get over this pretty. S oh, yeah Okay, well, she's over it. That was really fast. <laughs> anyway, okay, so we will leave them and Then Ravenna now um, so we'll say some time has passed since she has had Henry and then maybe now she is Saying she's I don't know. I don't I'm trying to think what her reasoning is like to go into town She can go into town I feel like she has some servants and like ladies in waiting that she has done the like mind compulsion on. I mean like servants back then witness a ton of stuff. Oh, also I got a new maps mod. I will link it in the description below if you do want to download it. It's so cool. It's gorgeous. I love it a lot. But yeah, back then like servants and staff, they witnessed a lot of things and had to keep their mouth shut. I'm sure some of them did like, you know, rat on some people, but I feel like Ravenna, she definitely doesn't want people to know about this. Cause like if any of the servants were to rat out somebody, it would be Ravenna because like Henry is the king. So yeah, maybe she's doing a mind compulsion thing and either having them stay somewhere so she can go without them knowing or like erasing their memory or something. All right, so she's going to sneak off and go to Arthur's. And then I also did just like replace the wallpaper and furniture. It's very minimal because I don't feel like Arthur's living a with a lot there, but last time when we were here, it was just very contemporary and I was like, ah, it's probably not accurate. So I literally just did like a bunch of stone. I mean, the furniture isn't completely accurate either, but you know, it's better than what it was before. But okay, so now, hello, Arthur, we're back. We should, oh, we should get out of the sunlight because our skin's burning. Let's go, go here, go inside. Now, you gotta go inside now. Come on, Ravenna, you're going to die before you're supposed to. All right, now we're going to flirt more. I don't think that Arthur would feel the need to meet his child or maybe Ravenna is doing mind compulsion so he doesn't feel that need. All right, so they are now trying for a baby and we will see if Ravenna's pregnant. And, oh, I keep forgetting to change her pajamas. I need to do that. It's also funny too because the hair that I, not this hair, but what she's been wearing um, like the last episode, it's the hair I used on Amira. I use that hair a lot. I used it on a bunch of the past queens and princesses as well because I didn't have custom content, but it's just funny like associating it with Amira and then seeing it on Ravenna too. They have the same hairstyle. Okay, so Ravenna is now going to take a pregnancy test. Oh, I had this issue last time. I'll have to check with MC Command Center actually if she's pregnant because it might not work for the pregnancy test. Oh no, oh it did. Okay, cool. Yay, she's pregnant. Okay, she's going to go tell Arthur. I hope I haven't mixed up their names. I have a tendency to do that, like Arthur and Henry. You guys usually know who I'm talking about, but hopefully I didn't do that. But okay, cool. She's pregnant. So they're going to be having another baby and we will see that happen in the next episode. But anyway, we're going to end this video here. So let me know what you guys think about the theories and everything that I mentioned with the connection and why Henry and Arthur dislike each other. Let me know your thoughts too on like the relationship between Princess Elizabeth and her little brother, Prince Henry, and like what you think their dynamic might be. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.